This is anonymous, right? I don't want anyone to know. Yeah, nobody will see you. Okay. We'll blur out your face. All right. So can you tell us just a little bit about how your life was prior to this whole experience? Well, I thought I had a, child, a normal childhood and, uh, you know, I go to school like everyone else, you know, middle school and elementary school. And, um, you know, after school I'd have baseball, my parents wanted me to play baseball, and I'd hang out with friends on the weekends, and I'd, you know, do homework. And, and then uh, middle school came around. And I started hanging out with uh, a new group of kids, and they uh, they weren't like your normal group of kids, you know. They would do things that you know parents wouldn't wouldn't like, and I just thought, you know, I just thought it was the cool thing to do, and um, so then uh, my parents wouldn't. Uh, you know, accept me for who I was. I thought I was just being like a normal teenager, and um, I sort of remember like you weren't home for like dinner and stuff. You'd skip yeah. skip family parties. Yeah, and... I, I just you know they they would do it, and I just wanted to kind of fit in with them. And um, I guess it was it wasn't you know the right thing to do. So. And this was how old were you around this age? I was around twelve. I think I just had my. 12th birthday, 7th grade, so. So take us back to that day that you left for camp. Um, well, camp started on a Monday, like it does every year. And, <clears throat> well, my parents woke me up Sunday morning around 8 o'clock. And I was wondering why they woke me up. And they, and they asked me, um, are, you, are you ready, excited for baseball camp starting Monday? And I said, I said yeah, why? Why are you asking me? It's 8 o'clock in the morning. And they said, they said, oh, uh, well, we're surprising you, and we're just trying to do a new baseball camp, which is in Disney World. And I said, oh, or, oh, I said, oh, um, how, how, we, how are we going to get there? When is it? And, and they said, oh, it starts tomorrow, but we wanted to wake you up now, because we're, uh, we're sending you there today. And I said, oh. They said, and they said it was the Worldwide Sports, one of their facilities, and I and I knew that you know the Atlanta Braves played there, so I, I was excited to you know go and see their field, and so uh, we got off the flight, we we went, got there at night, Sunday night, got off the flight, and um, you know I I just I didn't I don't know something was just off, and uh, so I got there. But I don't think it wasn't the baseball facility. You know, someone came up to me uh, right when we got into uh, our hotel room. Oh, got, like a cast member. Yeah, and uh, they started explaining to me. I I, I said, um, oh, so the baseball camp start tomorrow, and they kind of looked at me weird and, and was like, what baseball camp? So I was like, wait, what are you talking about? So they then that's when they started to explain the whole thing. How did it make you feel when you found out that you were in at bas baseball camp? I I would I was shocked. I didn't know I didn't know what to say. I was I kind of I was kind of speechless. You know, this, this uh, cast member's telling me nothing about baseball. What were they telling you about? They were telling me about how I would be an animatronic at you know one of the parks. And what's in, the animatronics are those people that move? Yeah, they look so lifelike. I, but I I didn't understand because how isn't I don't. It's a robot, isn't it? I, I, that's what I thought, but uh, I, I guess not. Why did they send children to be animatronics? I don't understand. It was part of their um, Disney animatronic retreat. <laughs> they called it the D A R. So it was basically a reality check for teenagers that was that weren't wasn't being uh, that weren't acting how they were supposed to act. So they took me to Splash Mountain, which is in uh, Magic Kingdom. But it was, it was Sunday when I got there. So it's they took me at like three in the morning. So, uh, so as we're walking up to you know the attraction, the cast member, <coughs> excuse me, was talking about uh, 
the story of Br'er Rabbit or something like that and saying, you know, how he, you know, didn't want to be home and, and didn't, you know, just didn't like being home and wanted to do his own thing, but in the end he wanted to be, he wanted to come home. And I started to realize that, you know, your parents set you up. Yeah, that my parents wanted me to do this to get back to how I guess I was before I, you know, I started changing. I, I guess this is their way of, you know, so I don't turn out to be this person that, you know, I guess I'm not. So then you were stuck as an animatronic. You were, were you Br'er Rabbit? Yeah, yeah, I was. They, uh, it was like a suit, and it was a heavy suit, and, um, they would, uh, they, they kind of strapped me in, and just to see, like, you know, how I'd fit, and if they need to make any changes, but it was just, I, I, I still, I was still in shock when uh, this was all going on. So then when you were stuck inside the suit as an animatronic, you had, once the ride started that next day, you that had was, no choice, that was that it, was you were it. just... Yeah, and then... Right, then like ride after ride. Ride right after kept... ride, yeah. And I would get so I would get break. I would hope that there was you know a maintenance failure to get a break. And um, you know it, it was pretty much just it, it was it was pretty much just torture. You know, ride, people just kept going you know constantly on the rides, and I'm just looking at these people, just like you know I wanted to say something and they weren't going to hear me, and. Um, you, you know, were trapped. Pretty much, yeah. It's I would say, you know, it was like a jail. Like you couldn't move, you know, but but then there would be maintenance failures and you know, these people think, you know, there's maintenance failures so they're sitting in the boat waiting for it to go, but you know, kids are you know, it would either be someone's taking a break or kids are trying to escape. It was Oh, like you're the other people just like you. Yeah, it was it was just it was just unbelievable. I wouldn't have thought like anything of this would even exist right now. And um, you know, the only the only time I was able to see the other the other uh, people that were like me were at night when the parks closed down. And it wasn't it wasn't just uh, Splash Mountain. It was all other attractions throughout the parks. You know, there's four parks, so there's I don't know. You know, there were some. You know, all of them could be put in an animatronic, um, in an attraction. Oh, to be it taught, just, like, a certain lesson? Yeah, this one kid. Um, he was part of the, it's a small world, and he was, he was really racist, and, uh, you know, he was just, and that kind of, I guess. That was to help small him. Small world, you know. All different, different cultures. Yep. And, uh, another person, I guess, played video games the whole time while he was young and wouldn't, you know, that's all he wanted to do. Abusing they, technology. Yeah, and he um, got put in the carousel of progress. And, uh, so, it was just, it was just, I, 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 I wasn't, I couldn't believe what was going on. And did they tell you you were going to be able to, did they tell you when the program was going to end for you and you, when you were going to go no, home? They, no, they didn't. They, you know, you couldn't really ask questions. You just had to, you just had to do what you were told. Pretty much like a, like a boot camp. You really couldn't. But it was, I, I wouldn't wish this upon anyone. It was just, it was just, un, it was just unbelievable. I didn't think, uh. You know, they were just trying to hide this from everyone, and I just, I, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't. You felt you needed to... I had to tell someone. So the weeks went by, and uh, I just started to kind of accept that I was there. And um, one day, I, I thought I kept seeing, you know, my family on the ride, and it, it really got to me, and I started to get really upset, and, uh, you know... I saw them go by, and I'm, I was just starting to really, you know, th look back on my life and just think that, uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't have did what I, you know, what I did, and uh, I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to be home at that point. I, that's all I wanted to be, just home and just with my family. So then what happened? 
and then just just one day, <clears throat> it, which it was that day, you know, I, I, I must have closed my eyes for about like two seconds. I just closed them. I don't know why. I just I just did. And I, I reopened them and there I was back in my my bed, just just looking up at the ceiling. And my parents were at the at the front of the room and I was like I started to ask him, I was like, what just happened? Like wh why did you why did you did you know about this? And they were saying, know about what? And I said, you said, I said, you, I was like, Did, you sent me to, to Disney World for their DRA, like, project thing for kids. And they said, no, we didn't. We sent you to baseball camp. And I, I started arguing with them <clears throat> for about, you know, 20 minutes. And it just, it just felt like they were. Like they had no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, it just felt like, I don't know, like they lost their memory or something. It was just, it was crazy. It was, I don't, I don't know, I was very shocked. But, you know, you, you came home, um. Yeah, I was just, I was just home. And that was it. And that was it. Like magic. Like, like it, like it all, like, like just didn't happen. Like it just. How were you changed after this? You know, I, I was glad not to be there anymore. That was one, and then you know, you now I look back on it, and you know maybe it was a good thing, because you know I started to change and started to not hang out with those bad group of friends. I started to eat, you know, have family dinners, you know, every other day. I would be home a lot and spend time with them, and I, I was just doing all these things that I I wouldn't normally do. Were you ever afraid that mom and dad would send you back there again? To be honest, I, it's like they didn't even know about it. It's like some like strangers just knew what was going on and like dressed up as my parents and just sent me there without them even knowing. But so I, if it wasn't for the contract and the pins that you got, there would be no evidence that you went there. Yeah, yeah, and they they ask me like where did I get this from and now why didn't why didn't you tell me I you just I thought I wouldn't believe you or yeah it's I have this contract and if you bring if you you know talk to someone from the uh, from Disney World they had they don't know what you're talking about it's I, I don't know it's just it's, I don't know I don't know is this water for me yeah. Okay. You really well, you're not gonna show anyone this, right? No. Because you're gonna think I'm crazy. No, I won't show anyone this. Alright. <clears throat> Thank you for your time, Andrew. Yes, uh, honey. <laughs> it happened on one of them zippity doo da days. Now that's the kind of day when you can't open your mouth without a song jump right. Out of it, zip a dee doo da, zip a dee My oh my, what a wonderful day.